Yo, what's good everybody? It's is Sabro 4 on the WimCG Players Channel. We are back with yet another match using my fluffy little carrot here, Mink Tribe Balls. I am always going to be frustrated that she didn't end up in the Straw Hat crew. But I mean, why not? It's just a sea of uh, bullcrap for me. Anyway, we're playing against Moria. And I get my Wanda search, that's good. It's important to get, you know, your one one cost characters. Not just to get the search with Wanda, but because Carrot, she does need for you to have a mink so you can use her effect. Otherwise, we can't suspend, we can't rest anything, and uh, it can kind of suck. Uh, she's basically a vanilla searcher, a vanilla leader, if you can't use her effect. That's all she does. You know, Perona, you can do it, you don't gotta worry about having anything specific down but obviously you get cost four or less not five and that can make a difference uh, speaking of Perona this guy's gonna play the character one gonna force me to discard something I guess I'll do a 2k counter I got plenty of those and I'll drop another one to block the Moria okay so we're gonna rest this bitch and I will kill her or at least hope to. So let's attempt. He blocked. And uh, with four, because I don't got Ryuma, I can't kill her. So we're just gonna summon the blocker Bedro. Put in some work for me, will you? I mean, the deck, this deck like best drops, they're the five drops. Like if you play the carrot at the right time and even the uh, Dog, Dogstrom, he can put in work too, depending on your opponent's characters. Um, it just seems like maybe he wants to play first as opposed to second, but then this kind of conflicts with some of the other very good cards that are not mink cards in this deck, like uh, Ryuma and uh, Doflamingo, of course. Even uh, Rosinante, he's an 8, so... It, it be, I've been in the awkward spot of being at 7 down if I play first. I gotta wait until I'm 9 to summon him. So, yeah, I think playing second is still the way to go. Okay. Attacking for 6k. I mean, I can... Should I just block? Just block so I kill something. But uh, I think he attacked. He attacked with the bitch anyway, so... I'll just... I'll let you have it again and discard the. Uh, never mind. I'm just gonna kill the bitch. I could have used the carrot in hand, but. All right. And speaking of carrot, there's plenty of carrots in this deck when you think about it. Two K counters, characters, the leader. Hmm. I mean, there's only one thing to do here. We're just gonna put it on. Attack your ass. He's probably gonna block. Oh no, let it let it happen. Okay. But the important part is freezing your only attacker and summoning my carrot. Hopefully, I pull her from the box that I've ordered. I mean, you can't get everything out of one box, and it kind of frustrates me because this is a cheap set. I wish I had more extra money to spare so I can get maybe more boxes, but it is what it is. I got to keep in mind the structure deck is going to come out soon. Going to have to buy those like the new starter decks. I want to buy a couple of those. I want to buy the, the treasure special editions too. So you got to keep all that shit in mind. Oh shit. So Akainu killed my poor rabbit there. Tragedy. And I'm going to freeze, well, rest the scientist dude, the doctor dude, Hawkback. I mean, I'm not really going to be able to summon much, just the Nekomamushi. So I guess put Dawns on these dudes. Try and make sure I run over your ass. Uh, gonna do two. I think it should pretty much guarantee a kill. 
7k what you got uh, he did decide to save him but I think it's just the same result if I'm gonna get the rush attack you with 6k can he protect him again he does wow so now he's just at two cards we got I mean I got more characters but he has the better characters I'm gonna start dropping the flamingos though and we'll fix this board situation soon you know, like I've said with Moria Black, they don't really got that black like 10k, 12k attacker unless they run uh, Akichi, which I, I never see that really. So their biggest dude is the Moria. Okay, Dawn's on the dude. Um, I wasn't going to protect him anyway, I couldn't, so I'll let you have it. Just don't play good shit, put Dawn, so make pointless moves. And that's fine with me. We'll drop in the Don't Kill the Dwarf Flamingo next turn. So he runs over my, my guys. Makes sense trying to get that board, board control. So good enough. Can still make an attack with the leader. Oh shit. Drop in the big boy. Uh... Got the Verona back, got the Searcher Dude back. Kind of sucks, just a lot of pluses. He didn't get any plus with the Verona, but... Yeah, and attacking me with this dude, I'm going to block. Okay. So that's that. Now then, I am going to rest Perona. But I think ultimately... Mm, we're only going to get one attack this turn. So I will run over I can do like Perona or I can do like the guaranteed to just kill the searcher. Just get him out of the way because if he can't attack with those dudes he can just put dawns on the dude. But yeah, he protected the bitch. I knew I should have killed maybe the other dude. But anyway, freeze Akainu, freeze uh Hawk bag and the leader, and at, le at least this buys me some time. Uh, nobody just my life is full, full as hell. I didn't touch it. I hit him once, but we're pretty much both of us close to full life here. So he's gonna put dawns and try and get some attacks with the stuff he can use. Uh, but I didn't really have protection anyway, so you were going to be able to do it. Yeah, making the dude 7k. I'm not going to let you have it anyway. So it essentially means he's not really going to summon shit this turn. Okay. Get the Ryuma. And... Drops the blocker. I'm glad I'll be able to suspend that. Okay, so what we're going to do here... I need to just run, run his dudes over. Because this is getting dangerous. I can slow him down with another Doflamingo. So, Perona is out. Moria is out too. Good. And... <clears throat> I'm just going to go for another big Flamingo. It just gives me a lot of overwhelming presence because I'm the only one with the big dudes now. So this slows him down and then next turn I can drop like Ryumas and Nekomamo Shira Papi shit. So I, I got some good control here. I got a lot less life but I got more cards in hand and the bigger characters here. You know, he can attack with Moria and that's why, you know, Flamingo is so good. When you just stop... Prevent a dude from that attack and he can't even get his effect off. So it's almost like you negate his effect in a way. Okay, stun the Borsalino again. He is going to be able to block at least once, but... I mean, I'll be able to get some work done. So, ultimately the Akainu is going to die anyway. So if you're going to protect him, or well, he didn't... Didn't even bother. That's weird. Uh, I don't know why you, you decided not to do that shit. Hmm. 
decisions, decisions. Didn't, he actually didn't do a lot of shit with his dons either. Last turn. Anyway, I guess I'm going to attack your dude. Just run all, all your guys over. Uh, what do I want to do? Good question. I know that I want to drop the Ryuma. What else? I guess the... I got to do the Pedro because if I do the Nekomamushi, I don't get the rush and I don't want that. So, let's it happen, of course. Pop your ass and then get my Pedro down. So I got some decent defense, I want to say. I got a full board of uh, busted characters. And uh, we got around the same life, same cards in hand. I think I'm in a much better position here. Putting in that work with Carrot. Giant brick up my ass. Is that where your name is supposed to be? Okay, he popped Pedro with uh, Brook. But I mean, you still, you're not, you're not gonna kick my ass anyway. Attack with 6k. You know, okay, drop your dudes. I'm pretty sure I can go for game next turn. But even if we don't, I'm still going to run over all of his guys. Um, drop my counter, naturally. Block that. And then, I mean, if he wants to attack with Borsalino, it's just going to make it even easier for me to kill you. I think he should, because, like, if you don't, if I'm going to go for game next turn, that's the card I'm going to suspend, so... I don't know, I guess he's trying to play it safe, it makes a little bit of sense, but I think the best decision for me is to go for game here. I mean, I got two 10k guys, I got my leader, I got Ryuma, Wanda, and all the Dons, so I think we can do this. I'll put the Dons on Wanda, that's one attack, if you got a block or just do something. Yeah, better make sure you don't misplay, because uh, it's dangerous for you now. Attack with 6k. Drops it. Okay, so this means he's, he's going to live now. Fuck. Well, I mean, I got Dawn's Despair, so maybe I can just summon... Actually, no, wait a minute. I can use Nekomamushi. So I can just, yeah. Attack. I don't know what he's uh, thinking about. You've got no cards to counter, so... What are you wasting our time for? He's gonna have to let it happen. And then... I'm gonna drop the Nekomamushi. At 8k, you're not going to block that with one card. So this is going to have to go through. And then the Doflamingos, he's not going to be able to block. So I get game. Simple shit. So that's a GG for me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Great game. For me at least. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Share the video with your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. What a you.